about uh, yesterday you did an interview where you talked about. You guys, all that I know, you have to pull your ex and you have to uh, tell me where you're from, uh, websites or whatever. Or whatever. But obviously, you got them that's yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I want to know where everybody's from. Cool. I'm with uh, Miami Andrews. Miami Andrews. Uh, oh, sorry. You were talking about yesterday is how you have uh, an advantage over a lot of the guys in promotion because of your experience and stuff. You yeah. talked about uh, placement and balance. You can keep up uh, delivering punches with power. Um, is there anything you're working on as far as like the uh, gloves on, protecting the hands, stuff like that? Well, yeah, I, I think there's always an adjustments to be made as far as the way you're going to throw punches, uh, as far as the way you're going to even receive punches and whatnot. Um, you know, we're obviously working in, in, in some way, shape, or form to make those small adjustments. But I think your base is your base, you know, whatever, whatever base you have, my base is boxing. But of course, uh, there's there's fundamental, uh, there's some fundamental differences we are, we will be working on, we have been working on. And so uh, uh, we, we plan on uh, making the adjustments we need to make, but also keeping the things we don't want to keep. Uh, I think proper balance and proper, uh, proper shape is very important in this regardless of uh, what your background and where you're coming from. You know, uh, I think when you throw haymakers, when you throw big shots, it puts you out of position to follow up. Uh, at least follow up instantaneously with the way fighters are. But boxers like to do. You know, I have that. I feel like I have that advantage where I can follow up instantaneously. If I hit you with one, I'm going to hit you with four. Especially bare hands, and I'm very fast. And, uh, and, 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 and I'm going to make sure it's not bad. Holy, different boxing now. Person like this. Have you ever seen these fights? It's very local. Yeah, yeah, I have. I've watched a few of the fights. Uh, like I guess there are definitely some fundamental differences. Uh, there's also some things that you know uh, boxers can take advantage of, and there's also some things that can be taken advantage of where boxers may not be used to it. You know, so like I said, there's there's uh, there's, there's, there's adjustments to be made. There's also things that need to be used that would maybe be in your arsenal that uh, uh, you can use, and also maybe you use more specifically in bare knuckle than you would in regular glove boxing. Uh, uh, but there are things, regardless, nonetheless, that there are things you you will be using and you will need to take with you in, in this. So I jumped the numbers. People that don't know nothing about bare knuckle boxing. I mean rounds. I mean minutes each round. What is the deal? How's this whole thing working? Uh, there? I've been I've been told they're five two minute rounds. They could be seven two minute rounds depending on I guess the point of the fight or whatnot. Uh, regardless, it's fine with me. Uh, uh, you know, there's like I said, I, I think the reason for the seven two minute rounds is you're probably taking more damage with uh, bare knuckles. You're also uh, you know the clinch work is a little different. It's more probably you, you, I feel like you're doing more work on the clinches as opposed to in the clinches and boxing. Pick up a couple cheap breasts, you know. Uh, but it, of course, it goes both ways. It makes martial artists rest, rest a lot of the guard. Uh, boxers will get a shorter rest, but nonetheless, a small rest. Then, which is, I think those kind of go out the window a little bit uh, in, the, in the kind of the punches here in uh, BKFC because it seems like a lot of the punches in BKFC are based on different kinds of work. So uh, uh, there's definitely a lot of difference there. And I, and I think because of that, the 17 minute rounds are, are probably good and plenty. Oh, it's uh, Mike Bob from USA Today and MMA Junkie. What was the motivation for doing this? I mean, obviously you've done very well broadcasting, all that kind of stuff. Why did you decide to come back and fight Bare Knuckle now? There wasn't really a motivation per se. Um, when it was first brought up to me, I, I didn't even really consider it. Uh, I just thought it was like a joke. You know, I was talking to Dave Feldman. We were, uh, we were yes, on a, on a uh, podcast, MMA podcast radio show in Vegas. And, you know, he was very nice and we were, uh, you know, just chatting it up. And, uh, you know, he was, I, we were actually started talking about the broadcast part of it, you know, and, you know, I, I basically am allowed to work with other networks as long as it's not competing with Showtime, so we're talking about that. And Dave just mentioned, hey, well, what about you fighting, you know? And I, and I didn't really consider it, you know, I, I was like, nah, I don't think it's for me, you know, uh, I'm kind of good where I'm at right now. Uh, but then he started throwing out numbers that, you know, started to get my attention, you know. Uh, you know, numbers that I would say, you know, that if they were there for boxing, I'd, I'd probably be fighting, but they're not, so I'm not. You know, like, I, I don't have to fight, but if you give me a certain number, uh, you know, you may, you, you, may, you may get me to consider it. And uh, they kind of they kind of reached those points, so then it got me past that step A, which step A was getting past the first part of the conversation. And, you know, once we got past that first part of the conversation, things just started coming together easy. And, uh, and here we are. Yeah, you've obviously, you've obviously been in the fight game a lot, but now that you're planning to come back, you're probably starting to train, starting to think about it. What does it feel like? Does it feel different, especially since it's a different environment? Like, do you feel kind of newborn again in that sense? Um, I don't think you ever reborn. I think guys that tell you that or, you know, just kind of motivate themselves. But I, I do think that 
in two years you miss it. Uh, it feels good to kind of be back in shape. It feels good to uh, uh, you know throw punches and throw sharp shots and see combinations coming together. Uh, um, and, and it feels good just to have that kind of looking forward to something. You know, like I think for the duration of your of a combat sports career, even after, right after a fight, you know you're not looking forward to a fight, but you know you will be training again for a fight. You have something to look forward to. And you know for the past couple of years I haven't really had that to look forward to. You know it's kind of been just like chilling out, having a good time, but but at the same time not having that that goal oriented mind. You know. And all of a sudden, I put a fight in front of me. I'm training for it, and and, and, it, and it gets me excited to, to be in the gym every day. I'm sure there will be days where it's not so fun. Right now, it's we've just started camp, and obviously every day is fun. You know, right now every day is like you know what I have to look forward to. You know, I, and that way I feel mentally reborn, and that you know I'm excited about it. But like I said, I'm, I'm sure over the course of a long camp, there's, there's going to be times where you know I'm going to be waking up and be like, oh, this sucks. You know, but I think that's part of that's part of the course. You know, overall though, I I, I do feel uh, mentally rejuvenated as far as if that's probably the correct word to, to say. I don't think you're ever physically rejuvenated, but I think mentally you, you, you can uh, find motivation and, and it can push you and spur you on to to, uh, to push yourself and, 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 and be a positive person when in regard to chasing certain goals. Do you think your boxing pedigree brings legitimacy to bear number books? Absolutely, I do. I do. I, 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 I think honestly any names bring legitimacy to bear number boxing, legitimacy to bear number boxing. I think BKFC is uh, the fights I've watched, actually fun fights. You know, they're, it's a promotion that I think people would enjoy watching if it, if it has the correct eyes on it. And I think they've just needed to, to legitimize themselves by, by signing some recognizable fighters. You know, right now the recognizable fighters are still kind of sticking to what they do. You know, you mix martial artists in their prime are to MMA fights and boxing fighters in their prime are sticking to boxing. You know? uh, but I do think that uh, getting the eyes on somebody like myself uh, which will bring uh, more eyes to the sport in general. I think we'll open up, uh, we'll open up fighters' eyes and say, you know what? Maybe there's money to be made here. Maybe I can do this. Maybe this is something that uh, that could be for me as an option or an avenue for it. And uh, you know, you may see more fighters coming over in their prime. I do think that uh, better fighters will continue to come over. I, I, if you look at boxing 120 years ago, this, I don't think it was the level that it was today. You know? uh, guys punching were wider. Guys were both now are balanced. Now they're very sharp, very good fights. The early UFC tournaments are were much more primitive, tough. Absolutely, but much more primitive than you see the modern mixed martial artists at world class level where they're just so precise with, with everything they do, you know? And so I think bare knuckle boxing will also come into that phase as well. But right now, you do see a lot of uh, primitive skills coming in and some, some really uh, sloppy stuff at times. But I do think uh, as it gains more legitimacy, more legitimacy, more fighters will come to BKFC. And then more fighters coming to BKFC, you will also have some, uh, uh, some good fighters, even world class fighters, starting to make, get there. And, and I think you're going to see some. Some uh, very, very good fighters come over in the long run. Just like as you saw the, the other sports kind of growing, the other promotions, the other brands growing in that way as well.